Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at the basics of the Unity Auto Setup tool and how you can use it to import CC characters into Unity and refine their appearance. If you're not familiar with the setup process yet, please refer to the installation tutorial on our Reillusion Courses page. Ok, let's start the process by exporting our character from Character Creator first, along with this simple animation. You can easily export from the file menu by going to FBX and then selecting Clothed Character. You'll want to ensure that you choose Unity as your target tool preset, and since we want both Mesh and Animation to export, we'll choose Mesh and Motion. I'll proceed to select the current animation and All for the entire project length. There are a couple of more important options under Other Settings too. Select Delete Hidden Faces to reduce the poly count by removing parts of the mesh that can't be seen. However, to ensure that you export the smoothest visible mesh, you'll also want to select Use Subdivision Mesh. Once you export, you'll end up with an FBX character file, as well as two texture folders and a JSON file. Ok, next let's import the FBX into Unity. It's recommended to create a new subfolder for your character, and then just drag and drop the files and folders we just exported from Character Creator. Once the files are processed, go up to the Reillusion plugin menu at the top and select Import Character. You'll see the Kevin character we imported appear in the plugin window character list. There are a number of important material parameters in the drop down menus at the top. In this case, we want high quality materials, so let's choose the refractive SSRI option, two pass hair, and everything from the feature drop down to ensure all of those elements are transferred over properly. We also want to ensure that we bake custom shaders and bake separate prefab. If we want a low performance version later on, we can use the default settings here. Hit Build Materials to proceed. Once that's finished, you'll see the Kevin icon on the top left light up, indicating that the material build has been successful. Click on the Preview button to preview the results. Cycle Lighting allows you to test out different lighting scenarios. Since we've already set up a basic scene here, I'll simply drag the character from the Prefabs folder to the scene. In the CC IC Importer HDRP panel, we can see a list of all of our character's materials. Note that when one material is selected here, it will also select the other linked materials so that you can make easier simultaneous adjustments. Once a material is selected, you can go to the Inspector panel to tweak it. There are a ton of different values that can be adjusted here, including normal and micro-normal strength for the skin, roughness, skin color, and a lot more. You can even adjust the texture of the teeth, and easily use various parameters to make subtle changes to your character's hair. Let's look at the Character Preview Tools next, which you can find on your plugin panel. From here, select a character under Scene Model that you want to preview. It will import complete with the embedded animation, and you can preview by hitting the play button. If you click and drag on the eyeball reference image, you can test the eye movement results, and there are also sliders for the mouth and eyelids as well. Finally, at the bottom are a number of expression presets. If you're looking for your character's blend shapes, they can be found by clicking on the character's CC base body mesh and then going into the inspector panel. You'll find them in the blend shapes section. You can see that there are quite a few listed, and we highly recommend using iClone to create your facial animations in order to fully utilize the capabilities of the full blend shape library, as well as the variety of real-time motion tools. If you want to lighten the resources that your character uses in a project such as a game, you can also use the optimization tools on the right of the plugin panel. For example, you can bake a lighter material for your character's body and hair, extract and rename character animations, as well as rebuild the physics and utilize the LOD tool on your prefabs. Please check out the specific optimization tutorials for more information on these tools. Naturally, you can import any number of characters you need into your project. You can see here that I'm following the same process to create a folder and click and drag, 
only this time using the refresh button so that our Brienne character shows up. From there, I'll again build the material and give it a preview.